Hey, you ever heard of honey? Could you do that a little less seductive? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Just read it normally. Have you ever been shopping online and thought to yourself, I wish I had a free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to my cart? Well, uh... Honey is a free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to your cart. Get the best deals on over 30,000 well-known stores such as Best Buy, Sephora, Ulta, cocaine from the guy behind this recording studio. That one's a lie, don't say that. Honey is free and easy to install with just two clicks. One over here, another over here. That's easier than doing a backflip. Don't try to do a backflip. You're gonna get hurt. No, I can do it. Honey is loved by everyone with over 100,000 five-star ratings on the Google Chrome store. Honey, good. Need a chair? I know I do. With Honey, it's easy to pick one up with great savings. Oh my god. That's really good. How much does Honey cost? You just said it was free. Not having honey is literally passing up free money. Follow this link to start saving now. Join honey.com slash ice cream sandwich. Say it normally, we don't pay you. That's joinhoney.com slash ice cream sandwich. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring this video. You ever been on an obstacle course that's full of mud? Well, if you need anything to do on the weekend, I rank that 10 out of 10 on this ranking system I just made up. It's actually really fun. Kelly and I just went last week, and it is... <laughs> Fun. Rewind six months ago. Kelly and I are talking. She's like, let's do a mud run. And I said, yeah, even though this isn't something I would normally want to do, because I don't like messy things like Nickelodeon slime. Yeah. Woo. I love this. I love this. I'm having fun and loving this. It's so fun. But I did it anyway. Turns out doing stuff out of your comfort zone is fun. Because now look at me. I'm like a salesman at your doorstep trying to sell you mud runs. Mud. If you've never been in a mud run, this is what it's like. Apparently, there's two kinds of mud runs. One that's competitive and people actually try to win. And the one that I went to, which is for casuals. Just go at your own pace. You could just walk. You could just sit in the mud. You could leave and go home. See you later. After the race starts, you see a lot of your run-of-the-mill obstacles. A wall. You gotta get over that. Monkey bars. Muddy pool of water full of mud and water. PP. And there was also a tire flip. But this one was on a hill, so it made flipping the tire really hard. And dangerous. But it's a mud run. I don't... There's lawless land over here. It's lawless. It's... Without law. Kelly and I at this point were having a lot of fun, but thank God that this was a casual mud run because I could not do any of the upper body strength things. Like monkey bars. I could never do those when I was a kid. And that translated into now where I still couldn't do them and it ruined my arms. I think I completed about one of the obstacles. Moving on. The rest of the race was mostly long paths of running with just a couple of wooden beams sprinkled around that you had to get over. Woo! Some of the running left the main muddy area and went into the woods, which I was a little worried about because there was lots of rocks and roots and it was really steep. I don't know. I've heard of stories where people just trip and they hit their head weird and then they stop living. I didn't want to fall and hit my head weird and then become part of the obstacle course. But hey, that's again, it's the name of the game. Ba baby, danger, obstacles, racing, mud. Thankfully, I didn't die. Kelly and I ran for a while, walked for a while. This part of the race was hard because it was, I was tired. I find it really hard to run uh, for a long time when you have five pounds of mud on each foot. Oh, to be young and full of energy. Also old and full of energy. The last part of the race was really, really steep and really, really muddy. They made it the muddiest part of the race. I mean, just standing in place, you would slide. At the bottom of the steep hill was another large pool of water that you had to swim through. After all the mud that you just ran through, you'd be really messy. So this one was so you could clean off, wash off all the gunk. Then there was a really tall thing that I'm surprised nobody fell from and sued the place. And then there was a the finish line. And everybody got a medal and t-shirt. And it was really fun. I was surprised that I had a good time because, I, again, I'm not a guy that likes messy stuff. But I had a good time. And I recommend it to anybody who's, like, bored, not motivated, just watching, like, 
stupid garbage on YouTube, go to a mud run. Yeah, try it out. You might like it. And Kelly and I treated ourselves to a race well completed with McDonald's. We did it. That's a winner's meal. Is that a mud run? Okay. Last time I did something that was really out of my character was dance ensemble. I don't like being on stage and I can't dance, but I did it and I had a lot of fun. And then I did it again. If I were to take anything away from this, just try things that you don't want to do and it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I have a little bit of news to tell you. If you're thankful for a million people subscribing to your channel and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> million subscribers. Isn't that something? <coughs> I don't have to tell you that a million is a big number. I don't have to tell you that this channel is larger than 93 countries on Earth. I don't have to tell you that this channel is 43,000 people larger than Djibouti. And I don't have to tell you that if we went to war with Djibouti, we would have a strategic advantage. So I won't. But I will tell you that I'm thankful. All of this is happening at a pretty busy time in my life, so really came out of nowhere. Uh, you've been patient with me and helped me achieve something I actually never thought would happen in my life. I'm lucky to have you. And um, if there's one thing I want to say to you guys, it's this. Thanks.